Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll show you the easiest way to install the latest version of Windows 11 version 24H2 without using a USB drive and without losing any of your data. Now, this method works for both supported and unsupported hardware. So let's get started. Let's begin by downloading the Windows 11 ISO file from the official Microsoft website. Open a browser and let's search for Windows 11 ISO download. And let's click on the first website that says download Windows 11 ISO. You'll find the direct link in the video's descriptions. Now, as you can see here, it says latest version 24H2. Scroll down to download Windows 11 disk image and select Windows 11 multi-edition, which has all the versions. And let's click on download. Next, will choose the correct language for your Windows installation. So choose the same product language as your current operating system. In my case, I'll select English, United States, and hit confirm. Now let's download the ISO file. Click on the 64-bit download. The download is about 5.4 gigabyte, and it may take some time. After the download is complete, now we need to mount the ISO file. Right click on the ISO file we downloaded and let's select mount. If the mount isn't available, use a tool like WinRAR or 7-zip to extract the files. Next, we need to copy the files from the ISO to a new folder. Open the mounted ISO and let's copy all the files. Go to your C drive and let's create a new folder named Windows 11. Paste all the copied files into this folder. Next, we need to run the setup file to start the installation process. Open the command prompt as an administrator by typing CMD from the search, right click on the command prompt and select run as an administrator. We need to be in the folder we just created. You can go back and copy the folder path. Right click to paste the folder path, then type backslash setup.exe space forward slash product space server and hit enter. You should see this window that says install Windows Server. Don't worry, it will install Windows 11, but because we're using the server method, which will bypass compatibility check for unsupported hardware. Click on change how setup downloads updates and select not right now and click on next. Now it's checking your PC, but it should bypass any hardware requirements. Accept the terms. Choose what to keep, select the first option if you want to keep everything from your old windows. Second option to keep only files and get rid of all the apps and settings. And third option to freshly install Windows 11 but you lose everything you have. Make your selection and let's click on next. And finally click on install. And just wait for the installation to finish. Once the installation is complete, and there you go, you have successfully upgraded to Windows 11. Now it's time to go back and clean up any unnecessary files. Let's navigate to the C drive and try to delete the Windows 11 folder we previously created. This windows.old folder contains your old Windows files just in case you want to revert back to your old Windows 10. Now, if you like Windows 11, then you can come back later and delete it. Now, if you don't like Windows 11 and you want to go back to your Windows 10, here is how to do it. Right click on the Windows icon and select settings. Go to system, then recovery. And here in the recovery option, you'll see this option that says go back. If you click on the go back button and just follow the instructions, you'll be able to revert back to your old Windows 10. All right, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope it was useful. 
Please like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye for now.